Today's Mac Voices is supported by Smile and the various flavors of PDF Pen. See how PDF Pen, PDF Pen Pro, and PDF Pen for iOS can help you do more with your PDFs at smilesoftware.com. Mac Voices is at CES and PEPCOM in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Daniel of UBeam, and he's going to discuss something that is kind of unique. Absolutely. If I understand it, Daniel, it's power transfer wirelessly? Wirelessly through ultrasound. So what differentiates UBeam from a lot of other wireless power companies is we provide power over distance using ultrasound. So one number one is much safer. Number two, it sends much more power, usable power to power a lot of different devices, ranging from portable electronics to sensors. And we are doing our grand unveiling at PEPCOM this event, and I'm glad to show you uh, what we got right here. Okay, sounds good, let's do it. So what you see over there is an ultrasonic trans uh, transmitter sending out ultrasonic energy, and it is, and he just took my receiver. <laughs> uh, so what we have here is actually uh, one of our proprietary design receivers powering an LED bulb, and as you can tell, there's no batteries whatsoever. Right. And our vision system is able to find the receiver, and, oh. <laughs> uh, so. We have competing demos yeah, here. Yeah, we have competing demos. He's closer, so, you know, obviously. Uh, so basically what we see here is the vision system finds the power, or finds the receiver, and sends power to power the LED board. And I can move the LED board around, and the transmitter can dynamically find the receiver again and send power to the receiver, depending on where the receiver is and how much power it needs. So as you can tell, it's starting to light up. I can move it over a little bit. It takes a little bit for it to recalibrate and then send power over again. And we're talking about the transmitter being able to support multiple receivers across the room, and it can figure out how much power each receiver needs at any given time and dedicate the transmission to that particular receiver. Or you can at the same time blast the power out to multiple receivers depending on what the application requires. So obviously everybody starts to think phone charging, but sure. this this has the potential to go so much farther um, because that, that means that I could have maybe a light on my wall or a, a, of some kind and I don't have to have any cords to it. Yeah. I just have to have that transmitting the power to it. And one of the most uh, knowing thing any homeowner probably have experienced is having a smoke alarm go off 3 a.m. in the morning. You're not sure you have normal batteries. Even if you do, you have to bring a ladder out and replace it. Um, those are the problems we're trying to solve because you're absolutely right. It goes much more than phone charging. It keeps a lot of the essential electronics around the home powered. Uh, continuously with one transmission system and at the same time uh, it cuts down the waste. You're not throwing away batteries every six months or even for industrial plants you're not worried about preventive maintenance um, making the machines uh, or not not doing preventive maintenance on the machines and the batteries of the sensors and have the machines go down and hold the line go down. So we believe this solves a lot of problems for both consumers and industrial IoT and industrial IoT is really where we're focused now because we see a clear need for customers to want to have wireless power, power something mission critical continuously, have it always on and have it to be um, basically solving a lot of the headaches and you know that keeps a operational manager or you know CTO worried at night now knowing whether the machine's on or not. So now I would not be doing my job if I didn't ask about the safety of this. That's, I'm glad you brought that up, and I've been waiting to bring that up too. Um, so ultrasound is inherently safe because it bounces off the human skin. And I'm sure everybody is used to having medical ultrasound, uh, doing fetal imaging, or a lot of medical imaging. And the only reason why you can do that is because of the gel that they apply onto your body. And that gel acts as a way for ultrasound to get into your body. Now without that gel, ultrasound would just bounce right off and it bounces off most surfaces, so walls, um, you know, clothing, skin. So it's much safer than say RF or lasers or uh, electromagnetic waves in general. And we have done a lot of testing as well just to make sure it's completely safe. And I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't safe, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so it is, since it is ultrasonic, how about animals and pets? 
Are there any considerations there? Uh, absolutely. So we have engaged with third-party testing just to make sure it's safe for pets. Um, I bring my dog into the office. Uh, she seems to be completely oblivious. Uh, but yeah, it is very safe for uh, for pets. Uh, we have done 18 months of testing, both involving animals, um, clothing, just to, to make sure everything is safe before we release. And again, ultrasound is something that will bounce off the skin. So. Uh, and because we do a directed beam, anything outside of that beam technically can't really hear or feel the ultrasound. Um, and the directed beam is through a phased array system. So we have done, um, so we have purposely engineered in a way to make sure that the system is safe to use both in homes, uh, enterprises, as well as factories. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I know you, it's obviously a busy booth because we're being pushed out. Um, where do folks go to learn more about it? So we do have a private demo suite uh, in the Venetian. So if you would like to set up an appointment, we'll be glad to show you the newest uh, demo. So that uh, system, but much more robust. Much uh, We have a lot more intelligence built in. And you can actually see it powering sensors, cameras, uh, a variety of other home electronics. Uh, yeah, if you're interested, let me know, and we'll set you up. Great. And the website? Uh, Ubeam.com. Perfect. Perfect. Daniel, thank you so thank much. You, Folks, we'll have more from Pepcom in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Mac Voices Facebook group and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us at patreon.com slash macvoices and join these folks who help keep Mac Voices coming to you. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.